Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone. We start in a distant past, where the southern country is celebrating the appointment of its new king, while also receiving gifts from its northern neighbor. The new emperor is very pleased to see the generous offerings from the people, but it is quickly revealed that this was just a trap, as the deliverers are actually disguised assassins. The imposters attempt to kill the king immediately, but are quickly thwarted by the royal guards, who kill one of the enemies on the spot. The other assassin sees this and tries to flee but is grabbed by a gigantic beast, which hurls her against the walls before tearing her to pieces. Realizing that their neighbor has just declared war, Commander Guan pleads with the king to take immediate action, hosting a tournament to select a general to lead their army, as they must attack the enemy country before it's too late. This leaves the king with no choice but to agree, while the commander heads towards the top of the castle and sends numerous messenger eagles to neighboring cities to recruit the strongest fighters. At the same time, inside a nearby city where resources are very limited, the guards are distributing the only water source to the civilians, but clearly there is not enough water for everyone to drink, as the less fortunate are forced to go back home empty-handed. However, what the people don't realize is that a man named Dong has decided to infiltrate through the roof and secretly descend towards the water source as if he were on an impossible mission. This allows him to grab the water without restrictions, but soon the thief is discovered by the guards, who begin to attack him from all sides. Fortunately, the man manages to escape through the roof, but the guards are not willing to give up so easily, as they continue to pursue the thief from behind and accidentally destroy structures with a child still inside. Surprisingly, a nearby worker named Hong manages to run to the girl just in time and save her from the collapsing building. This allows the thief to eventually hide behind a nearby wall thinking he has escaped but ends up being knocked out by the captain of the guards as a result. Very soon, the messenger eagle arrives at this isolated city, while the city chief quickly grabs the letter from the animal, before announcing the news to the people. It is quickly revealed that Commander Guan is demanding that each city offer three of its best fighters to enter his tournament, so they can determine who is the best candidate to become the Grand General. Dong hears this and immediately volunteers to enter the competition, as he desperately wants to prove to others that he is more than just a petty thief. However, what people did not expect was that Hong and the captain of the guards also volunteered, while the chief wishes them luck on their journey. Before the Chosen Ones depart for the country's capital, Dong decides to pay tribute to his mother's grave, while revealing that he has been an orphan since he was a child. The chief also gives Hong the broken spear the man carried when he survived a battle ten years ago, while hoping the weapon can save his life just like last time. Very soon, the trio of men begins to head towards the desert, as they advance towards the capital of their country. However, before the group can leave the desolate location, they quickly realize that something is wrong, as a gigantic stinger grabs their teammate and pulls him away into the sands. It is quickly revealed that a giant scorpion has come to hunt humans, as it furiously lunges towards the people, but Hung manages to fend off the attacks using his spear, while saving Dong at the same time. This allows the humans to regain their balance, as they try to anticipate the next attack. As a second monster lunges to attack them, Hong manages to retaliate immediately, knocking the scorpion to the ground. The creature continues to advance towards the men and lunges to kill them, but surprisingly, Hong is able to counterattack the assault and forces the creatures to flee. However, they realize they are in serious trouble now, as they now have only two people for their team of three. What's even worse, the sun eventually begins to set, as the cold night arrives in the immense desert, and the two are forced to rest on the rocky terrain. As the team is resting in front of the campfire, Dong decides to get to know his comrade better and ends up discovering that Hong is actually on a secret mission to avenge his family. It is quickly revealed that 10 years ago, within the battle he fought against the northern invaders, Hong's brother was able to kill the enemy army general using his spear, but also causing the weapon to break in the process. However, the southern army ended up losing the fight, as the reinforcements promised by Commander Guan never arrived for rescue. This led to the complete destruction of the southern army by the enemy's arrows, while Hong's brother managed to save the young man at the last moment, sacrificing himself on the battlefield alongside the other soldiers. Realizing they were betrayed by Guan, Hong decides he must kill the commander responsible for his brother's death, and this tournament gives him the perfect opportunity to seek his revenge. 
What people don't realize is that Commander Guan is actually hiding a dark secret from everyone in this country, as he eventually reveals to his mysterious accomplice that he is actually a spy working for the Northern Kingdom. It is quickly revealed that the tournament he designed is nothing but a trap to eliminate all the best fighters in this empire, which will eventually allow those from the north to invade the country in the near future. The next morning, Hong and Dong continue their journey towards the country's capital, but eventually notice a woman with a giant sword fleeing from a band of soldiers. It turns out the girl stole a sacred talisman from her pursuer's clan, but when Dong tries to resolve this conflict, Hong tells his companion to ignore the situation, as they have a much more important mission to complete. However, before the two can leave this location, they quickly realize something is wrong, as a giant sandstorm is rapidly approaching them. This forces the people to run for their lives as the storm approaches engulfing everything in sight, but the men eventually manage to hide behind the rocks to avoid being killed by this calamity. However, the leader of the soldiers did not make it in time, as he continues to be blown away by the powerful winds. Dong sees this and decides to immediately help the stranger, while Hong manages to grab the two men at the last moment, but the storm proves too powerful, as it eventually blows them all away like straw dolls. When the storm finally dissipates far from the desert, Hong and Dong manage to recover, and fortunately emerge from the sand unharmed, and they are surprised to see that the other soldiers also survived the catastrophe. It is quickly revealed that the strangers were also heading to the tournament, and they offer one of their horses to Hong, in gratitude, before hurrying towards the city. Very soon, the two men also manage to reach the capital, as they stroll through the market streets that are filled with slaves from the Northern Empire, before finally arriving in front of the meeting place, where numerous competitors for the tournaments are waiting inside. What people did not expect was for the girl with the great sword to enter the building, as she intends to enter the competition just like the others, but she is quickly surrounded by the same soldiers who were chasing her in the desert. The girl sees this and tries to flee as before, while the soldiers begin to attack her furiously from all sides, but the woman manages to counterattack the blows and quickly knock down the enemies at the same time. Fortunately, before the fight can continue further, people quickly kneel at the same time, while numerous soldiers begin to march into the building as well. It is quickly revealed that Commander Guan has arrived at the scene alongside his giant beast, as he tells the people that the contest will begin the next day. However, the competitors are not allowed to leave the competition until the tournament has been completed, as anyone who tries to escape will be executed immediately. This makes Hong and Dong realize the gravity of the situation, as they need to find another teammate before the next day, or they will be disqualified and likely executed. Fortunately, the two quickly encounter the young woman from before, as she introduces herself as Jing and offers to be their teammate for the upcoming tournament. This leaves the two with no other choice but to accept the offer, as they have no better way to qualify for the competition. The next morning, all the competitors gathered inside the Grand Stadium, as they prepare to start the tournament, while being watched by all the people within the city. The commander eventually appears in front of the contestants as well, explaining that the first three teams to cross the huge stage will be promoted to the next round, but there is no rule preventing competitors from killing other team members. What's worse, the competitors must compete against each other while being tethered to their own teammates, which makes the tournament even more challenging to complete. Very soon, the warriors start grabbing their weapons as the deadly race officially begins, with the contestants quickly jumping onto the narrow bridges and desperately trying to knock down opposing teams. This causes many competitors to lose their balance and fall into the giant chasm, while only a few teams manage to reach the center. Things get even worse when the hosts begin to change the entire stadium, causing the field to rotate under the contestants' feet, and the warriors are shocked to see numerous giant spheres being launched at them. This makes the warriors desperately try to dodge the huge balls, while the objects start crushing some warriors and gruesomely killing the victims. Fortunately, the remaining survivors manage to predict the trajectories of the giant spheres and dodge the objects using their unique skills, managing to narrowly avoid being killed. This eventually allows the only female team to reach the other side while clinching the first place simultaneously, while Dong still struggles to survive alongside his friends. However, Hong's team manages to reach the edges as well and eventually leap out of the arena while securing the second place. This leaves only two teams competing for the last position. 
As one of the competitors accidentally gets his leg caught in the metal chains, their leader sees this and is forced to cut off his teammate's leg before grabbing the injured man. The leader attacks the opposing team, causing them to lose their spot, leaving them dangling in the chains. This allows the participants to eventually survive the competition, but at the cost of losing one of their team members in the process. Very soon, the failed competitors are brought back to the stadium, as the commander's assistant begins to mark all the losers for failing in the first tournament, causing them to scream in agony. Fortunately, the remaining contestants are allowed to advance to the next tournament, while the commander presents the certificate to the winners, applauding them for surviving such a tough test. Hong sees this and decides to immediately attack the commander to avenge his family. While Dong tries to stop his friend from putting them all in danger, Hong is adamant about what he's going to do, but Jing realizes that something is wrong and tries to calm her teammates down. Commander Guan approaches them and is impressed by Hong's spear, but he does not recognize the weapon from the family he murdered, and instead decides to congratulate Hong on winning the competition. Realizing that his friends would be killed if he sought revenge now, Hong has no choice but to reluctantly accept the prize, letting the commander slip through his fingers. When the three eventually return to their residence, Hong is furious with his teammates for preventing his revenge and decides to kill the commander alone. However, Dong refuses to watch the man die needlessly and tells Hong that there's a better way to seek justice, as he must win the tournament and become the Grand General so he can inform the king about the commander's betrayal. The next morning, the warriors begin to head to the second tournament, as they must retrieve the egg of a giant monster, which is constantly causing earthquakes within the location, while continuously trying to remove the metal artifact that was mounted on its head by humans. Very soon, the warriors begin to enter the huge cavern to find the giant monster's nest. However, before the team can locate the gigantic beast, Hong is accidentally poisoned by a mysterious flower, causing the man to lose his ability to fight, while slowly succumbing to the poison. Fortunately, Hong tells his friends that the antidote is an orange moss that always grows near the poisonous flower, so Dong and Jing go in search of the remedy for their teammate. At the same time, one of the teams arrives at a field of tall grass, but something is amiss as the girls are grabbed by giant tentacles and quickly become victims of the unknown creature. Shortly after, the duo of men arrives at the location and starts battling the monstrous plants, but manage to escape to a secret entrance, where they realize the monster's egg is right in front of their eyes. This allows the warriors to grab the egg immediately, but they soon realize the beast has returned to stop them. The warriors are forced to run for their lives, yet they are quickly attacked by the tentacles once again. Hong's team arrives at the scene to claim the tournament prize as well, but soon the giant monster finally appears to retrieve its offspring. The beast looms over all the humans and advances rapidly in fury. This causes the man to drop the egg, and the girl manages to grab the tournament prize and begins running desperately in the opposite direction. However, the monster is not willing to give up so easily, as it quickly locates the girl and forces her to hide behind the walls. Fortunately, Dong manages to rescue her and grab his teammate's egg while trying to lure the giant serpent away from his friend, making the monster even angrier in the process, as it continues to fail to capture the man jumping across the rocky surfaces. Shortly after, the team manages to lure the enemy into the narrow caves. The two cling to the ceiling and trap the monster in the process. Seeing the creature from above, Dong quickly spots the orange moss on its head, and knowing it's the antidote for his friend, the girl immediately grabs the medication before jumping off the creature and running away from the scene. However, the gigantic serpent eventually manages to free itself while continuing to pursue the people furiously across the field, but quickly collides with a second trap, getting stuck behind the rocks as before. This allows the two to escape, and moments later, they give the medicine to their friend, and the medicine immediately begins to heal the man and bring him back from the brink of death. Surprisingly, instead of leaving this place immediately, Dong decides to return to the gigantic creature, as he plans to save the animal from its capture. The man tells the animal he means it no harm, before quickly jumping on the serpent's head, trying to remove the helmet with all his might, but the metal plate refuses to budge from the monster's skull. Fortunately, Jing eventually returns to help her teammate as well, jumping on the rope and starting to pull at the same time. This quickly allows the creature to free itself from the metal helmet, and then it roars furiously in pain. Moments later it approaches the small humans, examining the people who stole its offspring. 
Dong sees this and quickly takes the egg in front of the gigantic beast, apologizing for disturbing the creature's nest. However, he pleads with the beast to allow them to use the egg temporarily for the tournament, promising to bring back the precious object without causing any harm. Surprisingly, the serpent eventually agrees to Dong's deal. To repay the humans for saving its life, the creature allows the team to leave in peace, but what the group doesn't realize is that they are being secretly watched by a mysterious entity from the shadows. Shortly after, the group manages to return to the capital, while the leader of the opposing team who survived is punished for failing in the tournament, just like the others before him. However, despite no longer having other competitors to compete against, the commander tells the three winners that they must enter the final phase of the tournament by fighting against their own teammates, as only one person can receive the title of Grand General. This makes the warriors fall into sadness, as they cannot bear the idea of killing their own friends. Fortunately, before the team becomes completely desperate, the mysterious entity in blue attire appears in front of the group, revealing that she is actually a friend of Dong's father. The woman promises to reveal the truth about what is really going on, leading the people to a mysterious forest, passing through a fog cloud that teleports them to another dimension. Shortly after, all the stones within this place begin to levitate upwards, while the past memories of the people are brought forth before their eyes. It is quickly revealed that Dong is actually the sole living descendant of the previous king of the north, who was usurped by the traitors. Now, Dong must reclaim his rightful place on the throne of the kingdom to prevent further bloodshed between the two nations. However, before the people can process this information, they are quickly teleported back into the forest. Upon learning the truth, Hong decides to leave the team. Jing goes after him, trying to prevent the man from abandoning them, but is quickly pushed back by Hong as he tells the girl to forget their friendship, as it was based on nothing but lies. This causes the woman to fall into sadness, as she runs away from the man in tears, refusing to accept that he is now an enemy of her companion, Dong. However, before the girl can return to the city, she quickly realizes she is surrounded by a group of soldiers on all sides, as the commander arrives to arrest her for fleeing the tournament, ordering all his men to attack immediately. This forces Jing to desperately defend herself, trying to avoid being killed by the visceral attacks, but the woman is quickly overwhelmed by the enemies, losing her weapon in the process and being knocked to the ground. People see this and begin to continuously strike the woman on the ground, but, fortunately, Hong manages to arrive in time and quickly goes to save the girl, driving the enemy soldiers away. However, before the man can rescue his friend, Commander Guan quickly stabs the woman in the leg, causing Jing to scream in pain. Hong sees that his friend is about to be killed and has no choice but to throw away his weapon in defeat, allowing the soldiers to take him down as well. What he doesn't realize is that the commander has no intention of leaving the woman alive, as the enemy draws his sword and stabs the girl right in the heart, severely injuring her in the process. This causes Hong to scream in agony, as he is taken away by the soldiers, finally realizing that his thirst for vengeance made him lose everything. Sometime later, Dong arrives at the scene and quickly realizes his friend is dying. However, Dong sees that it's already too late, as the woman uses her last breath to beg Dong to save Hong, then dies in the arms of her friend, causing the man to fall into tears. Despite losing one of his closest friends, warrior Dong has no intention of giving up, and after burying his friend, he leaves the site and returns to the capital. Soon after, Dong manages to find one of the previous competitors and tells the man about the commander's betrayal, asking the soldier to spread the word about the lies of his enemy, so they can gather the rest of the people to defend the city from the spies of the north. At the same time, Hong is taken to the king of the south to be punished for abandoning the tournament, while the commander requests that the man be executed immediately. Fortunately, before Hong can be killed by the executioner, Dong also manages to arrive at the scene, pleading with the king to let him fight the prisoner to the death, so he can legitimately become the great general and execute the criminal at the same time. Surprisingly, the king eventually decides to allow the competition to continue, putting the two men inside the final stadium, where numerous knives begin to fly across the stages. However, instead of fighting to the death, the two fighters begin to protect themselves from the flying objects, trying to make their way through the stadium. The commander sees this and orders his minions to start attacking immediately, causing numerous enemy soldiers to run towards the crowd guards, creating complete chaos in the process. Fortunately, the clan leaders who lost the tournament all returned to protect their city, quickly turning the battle by killing the enemy soldiers. 
At the same time, the king decides to retreat along with Commander Guan, as they eventually escape the battle by entering the palace, only to discover that all the doors had been locked from the outside. This makes the king realize he has been betrayed by his most trusted advisor, who quickly locks the people inside the building, planning to end the reign of the king of the south. Hong sees this and runs towards the enemy soldiers alongside his friend, trying to fight their way to the palace to rescue the king. However, the fighters are quickly stopped by the commander's gigantic beast, which begins attacking people with its jaws, roaring furiously at the humans. Fortunately, Hong manages to retaliate immediately by stabbing the monster in the feet, giving the people a chance to deal a fatal blow as they knock the giant enemy to the ground, eventually ending the life of the monster. Very soon, the commander begins to escape to higher ground, while activating a secret device that begins to pour huge amounts of flammable liquids throughout the stadium, planning to burn all the people inside. Dong sees this and immediately runs towards the commander, realizing the man is trying to escape using a huge glider, as flames are lit at the top of the building. However, Warrior Dong eventually manages to climb onto the roof and jump onto the commander's glider, beginning to puncture holes in the wings and causing the entire device to fall towards the ground. At the same time, Hong manages to reach the entrance of the palace, desperately trying to open the gates inward, as the king is quickly dying from the overwhelming heat of the flames. Fortunately, the warriors manage to open the doors at the last moment while saving the king from the furious fire, narrowly escaping the huge explosion in the process. Hong quickly realizes that his friend has successfully sabotaged the enemy's glider, as he makes the commander fall onto the center stage. This causes the man to run towards the enemy in uncontrollable rage, kicking the traitor across the arena like a ragdoll, before grabbing him and stabbing him through the neck into a monument, thus finally avenging the deaths of his friends. Some time later, the king thanks Dong and Hong for saving the city, then appoints Hong as the new general of the army, so the man can continue protecting the country in the future. Days later, Hong eventually erects a honorable monument for his friend Jing, so the girl can be remembered as a heroine to the people. Very soon, the warriors decide to visit the grave of their deceased friend, and they pay their respects to Jing. Dong promises to reclaim the throne of the country of the north to prevent any future conflicts. After this moment, Dong before he can return home, decides to head towards the creature's cave, to return the egg of the gigantic serpent. With this gesture, he gains a powerful ally for his future adventures.